In this video, we will go over how to enter time using eTime timesheet entry. Currently, time for ComHab, Job Coach, Job Developer, and Respite are supported by eTime. Brokerage, Staffing Support, and Paid Neighbor are not supported at this time. For timesheet entry, you should still record your time in real time as you work using your paper timesheet. When you are ready to submit the timesheet, log into the portal and click Submit Now in the Timesheets widget. Enter the participant, job title, and SAP ID. The SAP ID corresponds to the version of the paper timesheet you are using and will determine the activities you have to select from on the next page. The SAP ID can be found in the lower left corner of the paper timesheet. So now we will come in here and enter in time. For this demo, I'm going to enter in a few different lines of the different method options. To learn more about the different method options, click this question mark icon to see the details. So let's enter in some time. For this first one, let's make it direct face-to-face. -face. So for direct face-to-face, -face, we need to select activities, and then we're done. For the second entry, let's make it direct virtual. Direct virtual requires us to enter in some more details, so let's come in and fill those out. We have to specify the software that we used. If the software that you used is not in this list, you can select other and enter that into this field. We need to specify where the staff person was and where the participant was. If anybody else in addition to the participant and support staff attended the session, we can select those from this list. We also need to record if we had any technical issues. If we did, we can record what those were. And then come in and select our activities. And we're done. So let's add a third entry. For this third entry, let's make it direct other. For direct other, we still have to select our activities. And we need to add a description. Let's add one more entry. For this one, let's make it a day of PTO. So for PTO, we would select indirect and then choose time off. Now we need to specify the type of PTO. This could be PTO, family approved PTO, holiday, bereavement, or jury duty. And that's it. Now, if you don't have time to finish entering the timesheet right now, you can click Save and come back to it later. If you're done, you can go ahead and click Finalize Timesheet. But let's click Save for now. To continue a draft timesheet, select My Timesheets from the menu. Then select the timesheet you wish to continue. Here we can view all the details and then click Edit Timesheet to go in and make changes. Once you're done, click Finalize Timesheet. This will take you back to this page. You can review all the information and make sure it looks right, and then click Submit to Circle. Now we need to upload a scan of the paper timesheet that we entered this from. So we'll select that. I've just got a screenshot here, but you would upload the actual scan of the timesheet. And then click Submit to Circle. Now this timesheet has been submitted to the circle for their review and approval. Everyone in the circle who is a circle approver will receive an email notification that they have a timesheet to review. There are two special cases that I want to cover. The first is respite timesheets. Respite, by definition, can only be done direct face-to-face. -face. In that case, they don't have the virtual or other options. Also, for respite timesheets, you do not need to select activities, as you can see. The second is job developer timesheets. Job developer is the only job in which that work can be done indirectly. In that case, a job developer doing that work can select indirect and then select job developer work and then leave a description.